How's it going guys, Andy here and welcome to another video. In this one I want to show you a piece of free software that is going to totally revolutionize your online arbitrage game. If you are a serious arbitrageist, you may already know about this and have it installed, but if you don't, I'm about to rock your world, people, so hold tight. Now analytics and understanding data research in this game is critical. You need to be able to analyze the data that's coming out of Amazon to make your buying decision. And to do that, we use some tools. And luckily for us, most of these tools are free. One of these analytics tools is called Keeper, K-E-E-P-A. If you were researching a product, you'd come along here, you'd find a product, you might copy the link, you come along here and you click on search, you type in the link to the item you want to research or press enter and you've got the keeper graph here that you can research the bestseller rank, price fluctuations, competition and all that good stuff that you need to make an educated data driven decision. Now we can dramatically reduce the time it takes to do this research by using a Chrome extension that will show us this data right on the site that we're looking at. So there's no need to copy a link, open a new web page, click on search, paste in the information and then bring up the chart. It will automatically come up right where you're looking. Let me give you an example here. So let's just pick a random thing here and look at this. Ignore this bit here because this is the FBA wizard bar which is a very useful tool, but this is a paid resource. So we're not talking about this at the moment, but if we now scroll down, the Keeper extension actually inputs the Keeper information onto the page right underneath where we're looking already. So we can see all the data, the prices, bestseller rank, competition, you can see Amazon's just come out of stock there very briefly. Everything we need to know right here. And what's more, if we're looking at a, a group of things like this, and we hover over it, as you can see on the bottom right there, the keeper chart pops up, which is very handy. It really gives us a very quick snapshot of what's going on. Uh, you can see the sales rank, you can see the Amazon price, the, uh, the new marketplace price, and all the information at a glance, which really cuts down the time it takes to do the product research. And if you just want a quick look, this is a fantastic function. And check this out, this is another thing that you get with this Chrome extension. If we click on the new sellers here, once again, this is FBA wizard bar, which is a paid for resource, which is well worth having. If you're not ready for that, you don't want to use that, then fair enough. But if you look here, it says stock revealed by keeper, and it actually also tells us there's one item in stock, there's one item in stock, one there, one left in stock, three left in stock. So this for free tells us the same thing as this paid app, which is awesome. It doesn't seem to be picking up what Amazon has in stock and the FBA wizard bar does, but it's still pretty impressive for a free resource. Now, if you're not using anything, if you're not using the FBA wizard or the keeper graph, this is going to totally change how you do your research because having this information on the site that you're looking at already is a massive game changer. This will speed you up massively. And if you aren't looking at this data, you're going to come unstuck very quickly because this is the data you need to know and understand and to be able to harness this data to be able to make winning decisions every single time. And if you scale up using these decisions and harnessing this process, then you're going to make a lot of money. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't advocate using this instead of FBA Wizard because FBA Wizard does a lot more. As you can see here, it tells you it's in the top 1%. How many units have been sold in the last 30 days? It shows you how many reviews, how many FBA sellers. It shows you the ASIN of what the risk of getting the buy box or not. It's a high risk of getting the buy box because there's no FBA sellers, all that sort of stuff. That is a lot of data and you don't get that with a keeper graph. But in the keeper chart is well worth having. Incidentally, I'll put a link to FBA Wizard in the description box below if you want to check that out. So if you want to get your hands on the Keeper Chrome extension, here's how you do it. All you need to do is open up your Chrome browser and type in Keeper, K-E-E-P-A, and then Chrome. That's probably enough. And you see the top one here, Keeper, Amazon Price Tracker, Chrome Web Store. You see? So you click on that one and it will take you to the Chrome Web Store here and it will tell you about the Amazon price tracker. It's got a little video to tell you about it. Mine's already added here, but this green button will say add to Chrome and you can click that 
and it will install it into your browser. You don't have to turn it on, turn it off. It just sits there and whenever you go to Amazon, it will recognize you're there and it will display the relevant data that you need to know. Data makes this business work and you have to be harnessing this information. And if you're not, you're one, slowing yourself down massively. And secondly, you could be in for a bit of a problem buying stock that isn't going to sell. So that is the Keeper Chrome extension. If you would like to know how to understand this data, how to harness it, how to make the decision making process using my three core principles, you can get yourself on the next FBA Academy training course, which is coming up at the end of February. I'll put a link to that as well. It's not open for registration until the end of February, but you can sign up for first notification, which will get you on the waiting list for that. All right, I hope you found that video useful, helpful, insightful. Hit me a thumbs up if you did. Let me know what you think in the comments. And as usual, thank you very much for watching. My name's Andy Lawrence and I will catch you on the very next video. Bye for now.